just uh, what are you looking to, uh, forward to most about kind of this whole experience and, and uh, also just about getting to, to Bloomington this summer? Uh, I think it'll be a lot of good competition and uh, it'll be the best competition I've played since uh, finishing the season with Mocan last year. And so I think it'll be good for me going into the next season. Excited to play with uh, you know, OG and, and Thomas Bryant on the same team. Uh, I'm really excited, and uh, it'll be good to get up and down the court a little bit with them, and uh, get a feel for how they are before we go. So we have a little bit of chemistry, and not just strangers. How much do you know about Thomas's game? Um, I've seen him play before. I know he has a really high motor. He's always active, and um, I know when he gets the ball, he already has in his mind what he wants to do with it, and most of the time he'll do it too. What was your uh, just? Overall thoughts on your final year of high school, I mean, how things went and, and kind of how you grew as a player? Uh, I think they went pretty well. Um, we, went, we went from being a team that was 12 and 17 to a team that ended up being 19 and 6 and then 24 and 3. And so I think uh, overall we changed the program around. It was a good season all around. How much did you hear from Coach Green or any of the other IU coaches during the school uh, year? During the school year, I heard from them a lot, um, especially come to end uh, when we were both going into playoffs. It was a uh, a lot of back and forth talking. And how, I guess, how do you envision your role? I know obviously a lot of time before you guys ever play a game at IU, but how do you, I guess, how do you envision your role when you actually do step on the court? What, what, do, um, what do you feel like you can bring? Well, one thing I know for sure I'll be able to bring is uh, the garbage type uh, deal, getting uh, offensive boards, setting screens, loose balls, hustle plays, things like that. That's the uh, one thing I know for sure I'll bring. A lot of the early projections at IU is anywhere from 10 to 20 right now. Uh, have you paid attention to any of those? Have you, have you looked at any of those? Not really. I haven't paid any attention. So I'm going to go going to go in and work, and we're going to try to be number one. Is it exciting to know that? that, that oh, yeah. That, it's really exciting. Yeah. Did you see the news that, that Troy said he was coming back yesterday? Just thoughts on that? Um, I think it's real great, especially since uh, Troy was the first one I met when I went there on my visit. And uh, ever since then, we've just been uh, real close and uh, basically like brothers already. What was it about Indiana that, that ultimately sold you on when you knew that that was the place you wanted to go? What, what was it about the program? Uh, just the progression system. Um, he showed me pictures of Ty, or Cody Zeller and Noah Vonley and Victor Oladipo and the, the progress they made in the weight room with their game and things like that. And I just want to take my game to the next level like they did too. How much are you looking forward to playing with guys who can shoot the ball as well as you know Blackburn, Yogi? Oh, that's Brown. always an amazing feeling because um, when they shoot, uh, the defense has to go out and respect the shot, and that gives you more room to work inside. What do you still feel like you need to work on? Well, everything, honestly, but um, ball handling and shooting for sure, and also getting in the weight room. I need to do that a lot more. How much do you envision shooting, you know, stepping out and shooting some kind of longer shots, right? Um, a lot of times my coaches always tell me to shoot more, but usually I'm, most of my work is done near the basket. When do you get to town? You said that, I mean, do you know when you get to Bloomington? Um, June. 14th, I want to say. Okay.